All right, so um, finishing up the uh, sheet metal on the outside of the, uh, the tailgate. So drilling the hose out and then putting screws through it. Um, I know it's a little bit more time consuming, but uh, uh, sometimes it just, it, it just goes so much more smoother that way. Um, so I am in the process of doing that. So I've already started with one of the sheets and worked my way from the outer to towards the center. And then I'm gonna work my way now from the other side of the sheet metal towards the center. So that way when they both uh, butt up, um, there's no bubbles on one end or, or that sort. So, yep, let's, uh, let's keep moving on. So there she is. Pretty much uh, better than you. So all the screws are in. So I have one handle that I had. I, I got one on order. It should be here in a couple days. I'll put that bad boy on. But uh, yeah, the skin is done. Uh, the only thing I have to do is uh, I was looking for a profile to put up, up there up top, just like the one towards the bottom, a real thin one. Um, I'm still gotta try to find one. I gotta seal it um, as I know uh, the original one was open up there so I know water would get in there so I uh, just got to find that piece that's easy to install at a later point uh, I'll keep my eye on it and uh, so now it's time for the inside put some insulation and the uh, flooring for the tailgate only here I ended up uh, trimming these bolts down uh, so that way they could uh, clear the wood um, wasn't a hundred percent sure but it looks like uh, it had to be done uh, no big deal and I uh, went ahead and cleaned everything off any metal shavings that were on here I went ahead and vacuumed up but uh, she looks pretty good uh, uh, the black with the white looks super clean looks so uh, so new exciting uh, so right now I'm just uh, taking measurements and getting ready to start cutting the uh, uh, the insulation so here we are the insulation is installed uh, took a, <laughs> actually it took a lot longer than I was, than I was anticipating, but uh, uh, just trying to use every inch of material that I had uh, to minimize waste, which uh, actually did a pretty good job. I only threw uh, only a little bit away. I still got some left. So now it's just time to, uh, uh, I got to, uh, coat those in black so that the way uh, they don't uh, tend to want to rust on the road and then uh, start uh, installing the wood okay so next on my list is the front entrance door uh, as I stated before it was made out of uh, wood and I've decided to make it out of uh, one by one uh, square tubing uh, to make it uh, much more stronger so there's the frame um, the outside skirts are already tackled uh, what I'm doing now is placing where my window is gonna go and uh, so I got those just put in place. Uh, they're not tack welded yet or anything. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, um, just cutting and fitting to make sure I, I do this right. Cause I'm trying to uh, A, not uh, overuse material and not, you know, and also B, not trying to make the, the, the darn door uh, too heavy. So I uh, gotta keep that in mind. So um, yeah, let me uh, start doing some more measurements. All right, so uh, here's the door. Uh, got everything all tack welded. Um, those are where my, where my hinges are going to be going. Uh, making sure those stay somewhat sturdy, I guess. And uh, this one took me a little bit to figure out the door uh, handle. And uh, I'm going to have to make a different plate in the back as my the tubing was thinner than what the actual door was. I guess I ordered the wrong one. So, um, but yeah, I came up with a different. Uh, uh, different way to uh, to get it installed. So uh, so now I'm just going to bolt the uh, the door on, and uh, kind of get it situated in the in the jam, and then work finalize uh, the um, the door handle um, bracket, and then I'll work on the actual door jam. So I got my door handle um, aligned on the actual door jam itself. So now it's time to uh, to hold everything together. So, time to get started. 
here it is. Uh, the frame of the entrance door, um, all grinded down, smooth, um, where the flat surfaces will meet, uh, the inside board, the interior board, and then the uh, skin for the outside. And went ahead and, and uh, painted it black, uh, that uh, rust preventative. Uh, so, so yeah, so at this point, I'm going to put the skin on and cut the hole out for the door handle and uh, bolt it on to the, uh, the actual trailer. So, getting excited. So here it is, the door with the handle on and the window cut out uh, with the new skin. Uh, I was trying to use the old skin, um, but the uh, two of the holes um, landed below the uh, door handle. So I just had to go buy a, a new skin. But, uh, but yeah, so I gotta put new profile on. Uh, this is the old one that I have. Um, it won't be thick enough uh, to cover the framing, the sheet metal, and the uh, wood that I have to put in the back so that way I could uh, take up the slack of the, um, of the door handle. Uh, but it's no big deal. I do have a little bit of room in the, uh, in the door jam itself, so uh, no problem. Okay, so there's a door uh, bolted on to the existing trailer. She does look, she does look good. Uh, I got the window in with this mini shade. And uh, I'm going to end up leaving the, uh, the old bar since I got a door handle in. And what I'm going to do, that's going to be my grab handle. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut that part off and just have it as a folding uh, grab handle. So uh, the next step on the door will be the insulation and the uh, and the wood. Um, so uh, that will be started once I get my new hinges in because I had to order new ones. I try to work with these, but they're they're really uh, uh, they're really bad. Uh, it sags the door a lot. So I tried to um, work with them, and it just wouldn't work. So I ordered some, so they'll be coming in soon. So. Uh, Next step is um, what we're going to work on is the, the windows in the back uh, for the trailer. So I'll get started with that and getting some uh, some stuff ready. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the rear section of the trailer where I'm going to end up installing uh, two more windows, one on each side. And uh, so today I have a special surprise. It's uh, take your kids to work day. So I have my son with me. Um, so he's going to be my assistant today. He's going to help me out and uh, we're going to install hopefully two windows today. Uh, fingers crossed. So we do have all day, but um, it should be fun. Uh, so let's go through plan A because who knows if there's going to be a plan B, C or D. Alright guys, so this is where I plan on putting the windows. It's only going to be at this post or that post. Um, I have my queen beds going here and I had to change things up. I cannot use a happy jack um, because of the um, height of the roof um, and it will not allow my golf cart to go in if I have a happy jack and I need my golf cart at the racetrack. So, um, so came up with a new idea. It's gonna be two queen beds. One bed is gonna fold up to that wall and then the other bed will fold up to that one. So it's gonna be a double queen bunk is what it's gonna um, fold down to. So I've already have an idea on how it goes and how I gotta end up doing it and uh, creating the mechanism or purchasing the mechanism. So, um, so yeah, so right now I'm just going to scratch my head a little bit and try to figure out where I'm going to physically put the window. Like I stated, if it's going to be close to the post of the queen bed or one size over. So as you can see, I started making my, my notes on the walls. So stay tuned. All right, so here I have my son, Ethan. We're gonna measure the window that's gonna go in. I have two of these that are going to the side. So what's the measurement, buddy? 35 inches. And what's the fraction? Uh, one fourth. Now you wanna measure all the way to, to the edge right here. To uh, right, to right there. Three fourths. I'll make sure it's all in place. Hold on. There we go. You gotta pull on it. Pull on it. So what's the new measurement right there? 
Um, right where the edge. No, no, you gotta do it right here. Here is five eighths. So, what's the total measurement? Thirty-five inches and five eighths. Perfect. So we're gonna have to make to so cut out that tall. And what's the side? Tell me what the side is here. I try to make it straight as possible. It is eleven inches and seven eighths. Nope, no. Nope. Eleven inches and five eighths. Um it's actually it's in the sixteenth, see. Um it doesn't show it there, but those are those are the small ones are sixteen inch are sixteenth of an inch. But you could end up saying three quarters of an inch just okay. to round off because I do need a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, so it's eleven and eleven inches and three quarters. Okay? Okay. So that's the plan for the window. Um, that's where she's going to call her new home. And uh, so I just got it um, all traced out. And what I'm going to do is the uh, the framework right now. Um, and then I'll end up uh, tacking the framework in place and then cutting out the uh, the sheet of aluminum or the siding on, on the side. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so now we got the, uh, the frame of the window um, already tack welded. Uh, she fits good and she will fit assembled in the uh, in the trailer so now I'm just gonna weld everything up uh, smooth the welds up um, on the side where the, uh, the panel is gonna go and uh, and yeah so then now uh, put it in here and uh, tack it in place so let's get to it All right, so I got my framing in, and it's uh, stitch welded in place. I've already uh, painted that section uh, uh, black. So now I've made uh, my cardboard cutout of where the window goes in, and uh, let's hope um, the cardboard cutout works like a champ. So here we go. The window's finally installed. It's not. It's a temporary install. As uh, I'm still gonna put, uh, I gotta put sealant around it, uh, but I will do that when it's ready to technically do the walls uh, on the inside. So right now she is uh, in place, and uh, stated there's there's my door, so she's looking pretty good. And uh, there's the one on the other side. So two windows on either side. Oh, well, looks good. So I want to thank my little buddy, my son Ethan, for helping me out. Today was his uh, stay at home and uh, uh, go to work with your parents. So today, his choice was to work on the uh, on the enclosed trailer. So uh, I wonder what he wants to do with the enclosed trailer. Go camping. So uh, so yeah. So we worked on it today. He's super excited. I'm glad he helped me out uh, with those windows. So um, props up to him for uh, for wanting to do it got him off that darn minecraft game all right so the next thing on my list is the hinges when they come in i'll finalize the front entrance door and uh, put the insulation on which i already have and the uh, sheet of plywood um, so that way that can almost be done um, and then the next step is i have to figure out where i have to finalize where the bunk beds and where all the other stuff is going to go so i could build the support brackets and uh, start building that uh, so that way I can get those welded in place um, for the insul insulation so I'll have to get that done can't be welding with insulation in place so I'll burn right through it so um, so yeah so that's the next step and um, hope uh, to start on that here real soon all right so this concludes uh, part three of the trailer slash enclosed trailer slash camper slash whatever it is I'm gonna end up calling this thing uh, so uh, stay tuned uh, for what's next. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like and turn on notifications to never, never miss a new video. What he said. I like the dude.